Well, the Middle East is a strange place. It can always get stranger, of course. Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii announced today that she and former Congressman Dennis Kucinich of Ohio traveled to Syria and met Syrian President Bashar al-Assad during a secret trip there. What exactly happened while they were on the ground? Fox News national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin joins us with the latest on this story. Jen, this is amazing. Well, the Middle East makes for strange bedfellows, Tucker. Senior Trump officials tell me Congressman Tulsi Gabbard was not sent to Syria on their behalf. She and former Congressman Dennis Kucinich sat down with Syrian President Bashar Assad in Damascus. When the opportunity uh, arose to meet with him, I did so because I felt it's important that if we profess to truly care about the Syrian people, about their suffering, then we've got to be able to meet with anyone that we need to if there is a possibility that we could achieve peace. I spoke to Kucinich and his wife Elizabeth today about why they went. Did President Bashar Assad have a message for the American people or for the Trump administration? He described the uh, efforts of his country to be able to keep a pluralistic society alive, to uh, be able to withstand 93 different uh, groups coming in from 100 different countries to try to capsize Syria. They're blowing up churches and mosques and making it impossible for a culture to be able to come back together again. This is really a, it, it goes far beyond what anybody thought it was in 2011. Jihadists are using Syria as a platform to train their troops. And where will they export the next violence to? This is something that America has to be concerned about. And aren't you concerned about the U.S. teaming up with Russia and Iran to work with the Assad regime? Because Russia and Iran have different interests than the U.S. I actually believe that it's important that President Trump has moved forward to build a relationship with Russia. And if President Trump is able to reach a detente with Russia and to work with Russia to solve issues of, of, reg of regional security and international security, that can only work out to the benefit of the United States of America. We can no longer afford to spend the treasure of our country abroad in these wars. He said that as much in his inaugural. Because remember, those conflicts over there, these terrorist groups are using that region as a training ground, and then we've got to worry about it coming back on the United States. People consider President Assad a war criminal. He is, his regime and his military is responsible for nearly 500,000 uh, deaths. How do you reconcile sitting with President Assad, who largely is viewed as a, as a war criminal around the world. So here's the choice right now that the world has. You can let ISIS set up camp in Damascus and use it to, uh, to change the entire region, which means the destruction of, of, of Christians and, and, and Muslims or of another sect, uh, and also the concomitant effect on Israel that, that is inevitable if that happens. Or you can try to stabilize the region and let the people of Syria make their own decisions about who their leaders are going to be. Wouldn't they be? Their trip was funded by the Arab American Community Center for Economic and Social Services, a nonprofit based in Cleveland. One point of fact, Tucker, last Friday, while the president was being inaugurated here in Washington, Russia was renewing a 50-year lease for military bases and a port in Syria. It's interesting. President Trump, as a candidate, expressed sympathy for the Christians in that country being slaughtered. They really are caught in the middle of it. And you wonder to what extent he agrees with Tulsi Gabbard's position on this. Well, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if the White House calls her in and asks her about the trip. Wouldn't surprise me at all. She's going to be a guest on the show later this week. <laughs> Look forward to it. Thank you. That was great. Thank, Thank you for that.